So now that we finished isolation, let's get into AWE. I'm excited. I saw at work the Cheetos flavored mac and cheese. I would try it. I think I'd try Cheetos as long as it's not flaming hot. Uh, oh no. Game. Okay. I got an executive suite. Okay. Uh, they really like this area. Hot damn. Where's he going? All right. Oh, nope. Still someone alive. Good. Can only dodge so many times. So many. No. All right. Who dare? That was my booty. Oh, uh, that was weird. All right. Well, you're dead now. Cheeto flavored mac and cheese? Flaming hot mac and Cheetos? No. They have original Flaming Hot and Cheesy Jalapeno. I'd have original, but I don't think I could try the other. Bread in the oven if I'm hungry later? Mm. Oh, I destroyed the brain. F. All right. Let's do, let's find where AWE is. I think it said Central. Uh, It's probably up here. Central Executive Suite. Yes, yeah, Executive. In fact. Oh no. BRB. <laughs> Gonna go numb. A. Heck yes. No, we're not gonna talk about Expeditions DLC game. How about we don't? <laughs> difficulty for difficulty's sake. I'm so sad too, because that's like one way to get an outfit, I think, is by completing Expeditions. But that shit, I just did easy and that was hard. <laughs> Uh, makes me sad. It's like the one thing I'll never 100% this game. No expositions. Alright. Investigate the sector elevator. Oh, I gotta talk to Arish. Well, I can't believe the emergency rations don't include beer. Hi! Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> None of these. Why was that? Oh. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. That was amazing. Why did you have a. Well, you don't now. What? Why did he have a thing? I don't know. That was weird. Pope, how are you in two different areas? Sorry, ma'am. I can't. Alright. Um, well. I have questions. I'm assuming. Do they mean this elevator? The normal one? Welcome back, Director. Director. Darkness engulfed the elevator. Yes. Wake! There was something there. Reaching for her. Trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Yeah. Oh, they have new symbols now, I think. Now choose if I want normal bread in the oven or pizza bread in the oven. Alan Wake! Isn't the actor for Alan Wake Dr. Darling? Which is so fucking funny to me. Don't tell us what to do, Alan Wake. He is writing what happens. It's kind of like the plot of Alan Wake, isn't it? Like, his writing comes to life? Uh... Yeah, it is. I thought so. Uh... I'm stuck in the elevator now. I thought it was only voiced in Alan Wake. Although it was only voiced. Okay, so the voice of Alan Wake, but not the face. That's fucking dark. I don't like that. 
this. I don't have it. No. Oh, okay. I feel better now. I like being able Hello? to see. Anyone here? Guess not. Why's the ma oh? Map's kind of big, guys. Here, this hold on. A lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. All right. Yeah, with the phone. Don't get the full version of seeing the vision. You never do. I, even in the Alan Wake game, it was faded like that. I believe it's been a long time since I played Alan Wake, but I'm pretty sure that's like reminiscent of how you saw visions. Or maybe that's in this game. I don't fucking know. I got case file. Tractor supplement. That is big, yeah. Damn. Burrow tractor. AI uh, 82KE. Need to crack my knuckles there. Supplementary ma uh, materials. Note, miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Burrow William, male, Caucasian. Case summary. 33-year-old man found dead on his property, per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries. Head. Lacerations. Left ear. Cheek. Blunt force injuries. Extremities. Dislocation. Right knee. Ow. Complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal, proximal right humerus. Extensive trauma. Abdominal, abdominal region. Uh, complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine, all missing from scene. Conclusion it is my opinion that Mr. Burroughs' death is not the result of a mechanical accident, as claimed by the authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Ugh. But the expansion makes me wonder if we'll see Alan Wake return. Maybe. Oh, wait, hotline? Oh, no, so it's like hotline. It's not like Alan Wake. Okay, I thought, I was like, wait, I might be mixing it up. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I want. Hotline. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint, reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away and made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man, a man desperate to escape. She sensed something else too. Anger pecking. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance, waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the He's elevator so quiet. control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. Wow. Or at least something in this universe, yeah. With the expansion. Oh, yeah. Got that. Also, gotta go for now. Take care, Raptor Panic. Thank you for hanging out with us. All right. I see Polaris hanging out over there. Oh my god, there's so many notes. Okay. Missing agents. Mr. Kirkland. Here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead, from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Connor, researcher Ezra Cruz, 
Agent Carolyn uh, Dempsey, Agent Lindsay Malcolm, Agent Charles Murray, and Agent Derek Shaw. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign to to sign prior to sending them to their families. You will be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the fire break. They're lost, I'm afraid. I can get to the fire break. I'm glad they did this like this. What do you mean? This is bringing back real scary idea to this universe. What do you mean? Like just the Alan Wake idea? Uh, there's so many. <clears throat> Darling investigation. Uh, official findings report. Uh, Dr. Casper Darling, Internal Confidential. Summary. Per authorization from Kirk Mr. Kirkland, investi Internal Investigation D-845 has launched into an ethical practices of Dr. Dar Casper Darling, Head of Research. Despite the accounts of anonymous, redacted, regarding inhumane treatment of redacted, currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of redacted sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such redacted contained there. One redacted confirmed the redacted's code name to be redacted, but all files pertaining to the name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the redacted research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any char charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into redacted research. Refer to file 982-136 for full report. I don't know anything about this game. I'm just here to hang out with you guys. If that wasn't obvious already, hey, Stardust, you're more than welcome. Also, if you have questions, we'll try to answer them. Control is one of my is my favorite game of last year. I love Control. It's very very good. It's very SCP, um, but in a video game, it's pretty great. Also, does add a new perspective in Alan Wake with how Control is really, the whole vision thing. Yeah, seeing the vision. Oh, you're glad you, you saw it like via Hotline. Yeah, with ties to the Alan Wake plot. So writing things into existence. You mean being scary? Hi, Crystal. Uh, how, did you get your hair shortened or am I imagining things? I got it cut a while ago. Like a, a month ago. Don't feel bad. I know very little myself as I want to play it. That's fair. Hey, But yeah, if you have any questions, we can try and answer them. Um, but it's very much like if SCP existed, but it's called FBC, Federal Bureau of Control. You try to control the supernatural or weird fucking things. Sometimes murderous, sometimes not. Uh, and it's kind of like containment breach where one of them got really bad, which was the hiss. Um, and, but, and Jesse managed to, excuse me, whoever takes the gun, this weird looking gun, becomes the director of the FBC and you get magic powers and shit. Although apparently Jesse's kind of special and has like more special powers than most people do. Uh, and that just helps you control all of the things in here and keep them where they won't affect the real world. So if you find out, so they like go to locations where things might be reported and take those things and put them in this house. The old, the oldest house is what this place is called. The whole FBC area uh, to contain them. So it's basically like containment breach, but it's not left the building. So we're trying to control it. So it's, you have more control than like the horror game that is containment breach. So. More like this whole control just a story or is it real real? That's a good question. Is Alan Wake writing control this whole time? Casey inquiry. But it, Alan Wake really happened. Questions. Uh, Mr. Dennis, a request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of author Alan Wake. Uh, per the 
interagency information exchange agreement. I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate materials is either missing or redacted. But I'm writing to let you know that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sound familiar, right? I feel like he's in Alan Wake and I just, I don't remember Alan Wake and it makes me so sad. That's because Alex Casey was the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Alan Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with the writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on this guy. Special Investigator Gleason. That's a lot of control. Define story and real and real real. <laughs> Uh, Blind didn't notice your new haircut. It's fine. Totally fine. Back with Mac and Cheetos. Mm. That would contain Alan Wake massive spoilers. Yeah. This is a wonderful hanging out with wonderful peoples. I need to sleep. Go get sleeps, Tara. Ooh, this is not the right thing. There we go. Have a lovely evening, Tara. Take care of yourself. Get all that well-deserved rest. Hey. And I'm trying to avoid that. Fair. Yeah, uh, if it's regarding, if it's something to understand here and you need to explain it to me and chat, that'd be awesome because I don't remember shit. Um, but not like ahead of something we might find out in the DLC. But yeah, Alan Wake's a game that also the same company that made Control made and they decided to combine the universes. So. And I did play it on YouTube forever and a half ago, but it was so long ago I don't really remember staffing issue. Mr. Dennis. So yes, there's an increase in AWE cases and yes. Oh, and AWE stands for something. I don't remember. Uh, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left the other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. <laughs> it is more my theories what this crossover might contain, but I don't want to spoil Alan Wake for people even though it's a very old game. Fair. Think Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and Control. They are in the same universe, but Quantum Break isn't being as melded. Quantum Break very loosely. That's what I thought. Thank you for the bless yous, guys. Altered World Event or Alan Wake Expansion? It's. I think it's Altered World Event. I think you're right with the first one. Alan Wake Expansion. I really like that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be that, which is really funny. Also, fuck Quantum Break End Boss. That's what I've heard, which is why I haven't played it. I do have it, but yeah, I think I do. Alan Wake Experience. Oh my god. Okay. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, paradoxical? But we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless and Kirkland's, as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. I'm staying with mine. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, I see Polaris. Can I get in there? Oh, wait, maybe I can. Hmm. It's not working. Damn. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Resignation letter. Federal Bureau of Control. Redacted of Redacted, 2019. To whom it may concern. It is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard of my department's redacted. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. 
I blame the situation on our redacted, who has routinely ignored my requests for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the redacted, loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open the, that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The redacted has failed his agents. I will never forgive him for that. Redact or seriously, William Kirkland. I wonder if it's Dr. Darling. It would be very sad. Uh. I looked up when you first posted Alan Wake playlist. First video was posted February 3rd, 2014. So it's been six fucking years since I played Alan Wake. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I found out I made the decisions to have the easier boss battle, and it still steamrolled me. Oh, fuck me. Hugs to my Alan Wake special edition. Aww. I must say, or I was going to say you can't buy Alan Wake anymore, but it's on Steam apparently, so there was definitely... Uh, there was a bit where they removed it due to contract issues. Yes, there was a time when you couldn't play it. I bought it before that. And then now it's back, so I don't... I, they must have gotten rights back, I guess. I don't exactly know the details. They sorted out the music license issues and were able to re-release it. There you go. Well, it looks like I can move all this shit. I'm sorry, can I not? Oh, no, I can. Okay, I just can't move that one. All right. Keystone inspection. There's so much reading in this first room. Jesus Christ. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWB like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Grumman Morales uh, dissertation or dissertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given the records, it is possible they've switched teams like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case. But that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seemed to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in this shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on the cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenman. Keenum. I didn't hear about that, but it makes sense. Yeah. It was something along those lines. Okay. Well. I don't want to go up to the upper level yet. I'm sure that's where I'm supposed to go, though. Did I get everything though? I think I did. Everything I can read? I was thinking maybe that core's loose, but I guess not. Uh, the button is what it's trying to get. That's to the fire break? It is. Head office, that's also probably where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I can go both ways. I'm gonna go to head office first because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go the other way for the button. So, oh, no, no, what a shock. <laughs> there it is. All right, damn it, I missed it. Oh, I was too focused on sneezing. Now I gotta find it. Oh, okay, that was easy. Cauldron Lake updated. Uh, the Federal Bureau of Control to Chief Investigator Dennis. It happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for redacted. For our redacted. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough. But why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on redacted lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what we're, they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigation agents. It's only a matter of time before this redacted hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. 
Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Thank you for the bless yous. Cat reads to chat stream. That's basically what it is. Raccoon researchers. Oh my god, did you guys hear about fucking Netflix doing a live action uh, Resident Evil sh uh, show? I really hope it's good. I have high hopes. I shouldn't, but I do. Anyway, I got excited. I do have the sneezies today. Raccoon wearing a lab coat. Sense cat air hugs. I love the air hugs. I'll take them. All right. Bright Falls is where Alan Wake took place. Okay. It sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure, like, everything we're going to find here is probably Alan Wake related. But, you know. Thank you for the reminder. Because I won't know and some people in chat might not know. Hi, Jason. From what I heard, Netflix Ari's show sounds terrible. Shh. Don't get my hopes up. In a terrible way. D don't, don't kill them is what I meant. Not get them up. You know what I'm saying. Ari show, huh? Yeah, supposedly. Underhill background. Official findings report. Uh, in response to Dr. Rhea Underhill. Why do I remember Underhill? Oh, that's the girl. That's the girl with the mold, isn't it? Uh, summary. Dr. Rhea Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her. Once worked with the bureau as a para parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Miss, or Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. Her civilian behavior has been ideal, with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and re revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. What does that mean? This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Ms. Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. Refer to file 785286 for full report. Uh, it's going to follow Wesker's teen kids? I'm sorry, what? Heard about possible flaw people aren't happy with. Like, then again, you can't please most folks. That's going to be interesting. Well, isn't uh, Wesker's kid? Is What's his name? He's in Resident Evil 6. Can't remember his name. But he's in that. So are they... Is it the same kid? That's very Bella Coco. He and his wife went to a cabin at the lake. Might be important info and not a spoiler. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like the story. Uh, wasn't one of Wesker's kids a giant shithead? It was... Was it Jake? I don't think he was a dick, though. I thought he was really nice to Sherry. It was him and Sherry. They were partners in six. I thought he was, like, really sweet to her, though. And he's not a bad guy. Not like Wesker. They aged up Avatar so they could have sex and drama. Wait, for... You mean because of uh, Korra? Hated that guy. I refuse to watch that knockoff Avatar show. Wait, what are we talking about? Are we talking about Korra? Because I liked Korra. They FWB. Is that the implication there? What's FWB? Jake Muller was one of the player characters in Game That Doesn't Exist. Yeah, we don't talk about Resident Evil 6, but I do remember Jake and Sherry, and I thought Jake was really nice to Sherry. I thought Jake was a clone, not really his kid. The, the extent I knew was that he was his son. I remember him being really hated. Oh, F. <laughs> I don't know. Friends with benefits. Uh, that's what I was thinking this is, like, implying with Dr. Darling and Underhill, but... Netflix live action Avatar was going to be aged up because Netflix wanted to add sex and drama. Oh, I didn't hear anything about that. Huh. Nope. It's a kid's show. Don't age them up. Like, what? I will say as long as they do some kind of horror for the Ari show, it should be fine and not, you know, what we got with the films. I like the first film. I liked the first Resident Evil and even the second. The already live action of the first Avatar. Yeah, I just didn't know. I didn't think about that. I know... They, they kicked off the writers that were originally going to be on the team, which is annoying. Or they quit. I don't know. One or the other. Where'd you hear that? Oh, my God. That's terrible. Avatar, why? Hi, Crestids. Oh, excuse me. All right. 
that. I can't reach that. Oh. It's a box. Give me things. Ballistic ground slat. That's new. Oh god, don't give me new shit. I only say that because that means I have to start choosing actually between what I use instead of just having the top tier of everything. The first gets a pass and the second isn't bad but really lost the plot. Fair. The writers left in June because they didn't like the direction Netflix was going. Yeah. Netflix messing up a lot. I don't like that. Oh, we'll see. Because huh. Netflix wanted to age them up. Oh, that's why they left. Oh, uh, well, the more you know. Official findings report. Uh, r replied redacted or response uh internal confidential summary per authorization from mr kirkland redacted redacted was launched into the redacted of director Z zachariah trench uh the previous director uh a recent i'm director now but the one guy before me a recent change in redacted witnessed in director trench including aggressive redacted when redacted with other staff has been observed However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable, redacted between direc Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous Bureau staff. Although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter, witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the redacted kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Dr. Trench is redacted as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of any redacted and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Yes, it was, but it's fine. Spoilers. I mean, this is DLC, so it takes place after the game anyway. But uh, refer to file redacted for full report. All right. Uh physics trench official warning this is avatar not witcher netflix just stop uh, that makes me sad we'll see i hope they don't i hope they don't federal bureau of control kirkland i have to sneeze again i feel it in my nose uh please not gonna happen all right. I'm growing tired of your blatant steps to lay your incompetence on my doorstep. At my doorstep. Uh, I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What do you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen investigations? So I'm guessing this is someone I'm going to have to fight. The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they are they have admirably taken on a certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty internal petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You you are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the bureau. The prime candidate program only failed because of darling. You are both failures plotting against me. Oh, so this is after Trench was losing it. You are traitors. But, you, but the truth will emerge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Zachariah Trench, Director of Federal Bureau of Control. I like how he signs it so professionally after he like, threatens him. Hi, Hex Girl. Hello, hello. I do not want to die. I don't want to either. Oh, a new drinking game. Take a drink every time Cat says redacted. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to die. Good plan. Uh, yeah, please don't die. Not even with water. That kills too. It's true. Could be a worse drinking game if Cat said control. I mean. Trench was losing it. Yeah. So. F. No alcohol poisoning, please. Alright. I think that's it in here. So I'm guessing this is like Kirkland's office. Before he left. Alright. Well, okay. I'm lazy. <laughs> Break his windows. I don't care. They'll respawn. All right, this way. I mean, I'm doing it with Mountain Dew, so yeah, I'd probably die. Please don't. Don't die. Oh, no. Do I have to take... No, oh, fuck me. Okay, well, let me read these first before I do that. Ethics investigation. Official findings report. 
uh, in response to the Prime Candidate Program, Internal Confidential. Summary. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, Internal Investigation P-1429 was launched into a legality with the with into the legality of the prime candidate program by federal redacted by federal federal bureau of control since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews very little firsthand information was gathered however anonymous sources and documentation declassified by mr kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systematic redacted and redacted Redacted were brought into the oldest house and placed under redacted examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic redacted of paranaturally inclined redacted. Not only is this in breach of the Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human redacted. This investigation team unequivocally redacted the prime candidate program and recommends that it be redacted immediately refer to file 982-136 for full report okay i'm a little confused as to what this is saying but basically they were trying to shut down the prime candidate program because it's not ethical which is fair because look how our brother turned out so like oh okay uh Polaris, you are in my face. Tractor procedures. Gigantic is no. Take a shot every time cat says gigantic. I don't say it often unless I'm reading it from chat. Burrow tractor, A182KE. Containment procedure. Item is not in bureau custody. Not, none known. Description, altered effect. A Frank Elk tractor. Olive green, dried blood on the grill. One last scene. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. Am I going to have to fight a fucking tractor? Background. Uh, the item first came into the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on the scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panicked calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau of Communications staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Bureau only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. Is it their pet? Is the tractor her pet? <laughs> and it defended her? Because that would be amazing. I'm bad at coming up with drinking games. They usually would end up killing people. The only other one time was Andrew WK says party. Who's Andrew WK? Man, these documents are redacted in me. Oh, my God. Uh, this is SCP shit? Basically. No, no, no. You're not wrong, Yippie Kage. This is... They said... What the people who made control said they were um, inspired by SCP. Uh, so, 51 shots. A tractor growls. Why not? Why not? Stay hydrated. Yeah, it was inspired by SCPs. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's all the files. Did we read them all? Jesus Christ. Can I do it from here? Nope. I fell. Well, that's fine. Give me that. Uh. No! Okay. It's fine. I missed. There. Now that gate should open. What was this doing? Like, what was this powering? Was it powering the light? Or the forklift? Okay, yeah, no, it was, I guess, powering the light. But it doesn't seem brighter in here, so, you know. Ah, Let's open it. Let's get this save. Anything else I need? Oh! 
You shot and you missed. I did. Tractor Doggo protects its owner. Uh, Andrew WK is a metal artist with songs like Party Hard and Time to Party and Party Party Party. Is that, oh my god. Take care, Soothsayer. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for all the love. Take care of yourself. Hey. Lovely Thursday. I can't think it's fucking Friday. Official findings report. Response incident A49. Internal confidential. Summary. The purpose of internal investigation X39-7 is to examine the containment failure of specimen SI1 that resulted in the deaths of redacted agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier show no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the redacted of redacted, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive redacted. Cross-referencing that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with this sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed, and two, a pr hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice Redacted entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. See interview 65F124. Is it Alan Wake's wife, Alice? It's been way too long. Given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Miss Redacted's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the Redacted. Investigation is ongoing. Refer to file 6237. 21 for full report. <sighs> Hi, Lycan. I'm doing well. How are you doing? You shot and then you hit something, but it wasn't what you were going for, so I guess you missed. Oh my god, that game Grimm's reference. Uh, he loves to party, it seems. Yes. Oh, it is Wake's wife. Okay. Alice just sounded familiar. Interesting. Okay. Looks like that's it. Huh. Well, that's the fire break. There's a room there. I'm gonna can claim this. I was gonna say, don't break. I've broken a control point before. Don't do it to me again. <laughs> Alright. This is fine. Okay. It works. That's what matters. Alright. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here f all right well i think that's just the only file left oh my god it's a fucking it's a light switch i get to go to the hotel is that what you're telling me i didn't even see the light switch okay interesting that is her first name okay Super tired, but doing good. I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, all right. Paracriminal profile, the blessed organization. Summary. This group individual has operated outside of the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in an in illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed Organization. Refer to file 739-0922 for full report. I said that without fucking up! I'll take it. Let's do this light switch. Third time's the charm. Do we know each other? I feel... This feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... 
My name is Alan Wake. Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. Plot twist. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. <laughs> Dr. Darling! What was that? <laughs> it was... <sighs> spoilers, God. This is a lot of spoilers for Alan Wake. <laughs> Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. Jesse's like the fuck? That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? Night Springs. And Thomas Zane was with him. The Who perfect. I don't know. No, looks wait. exactly like D him. He was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. <laughs> kind of looks like Jake Lynn and all. So like, why did they? Why is that Doctor Darling's voice actor, but not? But they used a different actor for the acting. Is there reasons? Darling. Night Springs was the TV show you could watch in Alan Wake. It was based on the Twilight Zone. Yeah, that's what it looked like with the logo. Dr. Darley on TV. Thank you so much, Kingdom, for that clip. This whole ass game. Jesse, what the fuck just happened? I know. Jesse's like, uh, what? Also, why is there a light switch here? Okay, well, before I use the light switch. Traverse the Oceanic Motel. Yeah, I was going to say, we can never... Oh, wait. That's the one we always got into, wasn't it? The upside down pyramid. Okay. All right. Why is the hotel the creepiest fucking thing ever? It's usually not this creepy. You've been in this place like four times in the main game of Control. It's usually not at night though. It's usually like sunset. Don't like that. The vending machine started working. I turned it off. Uh, okay. That's gonna hold on a second. It's also gonna hold on a second. Can I not open this one? Okay, maybe I have to, maybe I have to make these guys match or something like before. Don't like that, turned off. Thank you. Can't turn that on. Nothing else I can do in here. Okay. Turn this off. Okay. Is this 
Yeah, I was gonna say, is this open now? Okay. Is he it? What'd I grab? What did I just take? Assuming it's a key. Okay. Is it a key to the upside down? Darling, you are, but devoured by hungry darkness. I came to think are you wearing cat ears? Yes. Broke loose. I can take them off. I'm not going to. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman. Went through another change. Um, the cat ears are from the other DLC. Uh, the foundation DLC. If you collect every single lucky cat, you get cat ears. And it's amazing. And I did that. I looked up where to find them because some of them are bullshit, but it's fine. Uh, but I'm going to have to... Oops, wrong thing. No, wait, that was right. I'm going to have to look at that so we can see the whole conversation he just had. Okay. Uh, Got to duck out. I want to avoid spoilers when I actually play this. No problem. Take care, Jason. Have a lovely evening. They probably made the Alan Wake character before getting a voice actor interesting why not just have the character oh you're saying so is he not modeled off of anyone specifically like he's not mo mo-capped is what i was wondering ellen wake was in production for seven years wow how do you pronounce jake it's i think it's gyllenhaal but i say i don't know i think it's gyllenhaal hotels are always creepy true i bought control from epic games but not death stranding well then <laughs> F. Uh, cat is I've been chilling here but also watching Gamescom what's that I'm going through clips clips here's a portrait of a cat director that I love yes there's also a portrait of like the Federal Bureau of Cats <laughs> I loved it the DLC is so good Jake's last name is the same as GIF god damn it get out lurk all you need like in Thought I bought this stranding as well. Well, she is. It was a side mission in the last DLC. Yeah. The outfit that I'm wearing specifically with the, like, suit, the power suit, and the uh, pyramid headband, or not headband, uh, barrette, whatever that is, um, that is if you beat the game in control. Once you beat the game, you get that outfit. So. I know writing. Dragon Age 4 is in development. Never played, but I think fans will be excited. Fall Guys 2 Season 2 is medieval themed. No, it needs to be Halloween! No! That means Halloween's going to be medieval, and I'm sad. Star Wars 4, or no, uh, Star Wars 4. Sims 4 is getting Star Wars content. Interesting. I wonder how that came to be. All right. Did they mention if I'll get Dr. to win in Season 2? Hartman was desperate. Quiet the Federal Alan Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC. Brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, That's what I'm gonna waiting. Do, Great. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound, a resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. The hiss? If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't, and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Huh. There's a witch's outfit? Yo. Oh my god. Ultimate edition was dropped today for control for both DLCs. Yeah, with both DLCs. Uh, but I was impatient and have to spend an extra $20 on the season's pass on Epic Games. That's fair. 
Since four users, including me, were not happy with the new expansion pack, I've had to mute two channels and two servers because of it, so Discord would stop blowing up my desktop. Oh no. What the heck? Yeah, I figured it was the upside down one. Okay. Explore investigation sector. Well, I unsealed it, so whatever's in here. F. Also, I'm gonna save. Okay. Huh. Okay. I heard the noises of doors opening, but they weren't opening? Are you fucking serious? Still haven't like oh I'm all the way I'm all the way the fuck down there I haven't even begun all of what I've done has been fucking reading I haven't even begun exploring this fucking map what all right this might be a long deal let's see, let's see. writing on a typewriter okay it was older it was an older um game so I think it was taking place in early nineties I actually oops I just killed Jesse. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was trying to get out of the map, so I pressed circle, but that's dodge. <laughs> Were you talking about Gretzico earlier? Yes. I love Gretzico. It's fun to watch. Alan Wake was modeled after a finished actor, so maybe... Oh, a Finnish <laughs> actor. So maybe they used an American one for less of an accent for Alan Wake as American. Because he's American? Interesting. Two weeks of control. I mean... Because Sims 4 is a rather glitchy mess at the moment. Oh, they should fix it before releasing new things. Gotcha. Alan Wake liked his typewriter. Yeah. Keto, was, uh, she was saying that a lot... Or she was saying she likes it a lot. Yeah, Gretzko's super cute. I thought she said that. Yeah, it's it's entertaining. Because Diva just announced on Twitter that she's a voice in a Gretzko season 3. <gasps> a new character? So I'm assuming one that hasn't appeared before season 3. I haven't seen season 3 yet. Just came out, I think. F? Well, this is why I saved, guys. Alright. Why isn't it opening? Oh, it's just taking its dear sweet time. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming I can't go that way because if you look at the map, uh, I can't, there's no door. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to hop over there anyway, but I'm going to go look. Okay. Oh no, that door's fucked. Wait, can I go up there? Nope. Alright. Nope. Okay, cat killed Jesse. Thank you, Cortana. The character's name is Ma... Manica? It's probably Manica. Huh. So it's not someone we've seen in a Gretzko. I'm excited. Control loves doors that open super slowly. It's true. Ellen Wake was set in 2009. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna need you to stay down there. Where's that yellow? Like, oh, scary. It's fine. Yeah, none of these open. I can't fight that, so I'm gonna go. Bye! Okay. Well, that blood doesn't look suspicious at all. Um. F? F's in chat? Where would that have even led to? This is the most horror controls ever got. Uh, that's not true, but very close. Yeah, that doesn't lead to anywhere I can go. All right, let's go. Just Monica. Oh, body. 
I'm sorry. Was fucking the janitor here? I can't remember his name right now. Was he here trying to clean up a body? Oh, buddy. I mean, I guess he can't be affected by anything. But, like, creepy, buddy. damp, and abandoned. Investigation sector. Oh, oh shit! Okay, well, the hiss is definitely here. And strong. Well, there's just one dude. All right. Confiscated motive. What the fuck? All right. There's nothing to read. Okay. This is fine. Beep, beep. Okay. Um. Um. Oh. Um. Uh. Uh. Is it fighting to not be the hotel? It like looked like the hotel for a second, All right? There. Well, just because the blue. What the fuck is happening? Okay, let's go in the bathrooms first. Okay. I can't save again, so F. Uh. Okay. Don't change on me yet. Okay. Okay. Before we do that. <laughs> oh, wow, cat. Jesus. I did not do that. Sims 4 trailer for the new pack. Go do that. Squish. Ati, thank you. It's Ati. Ati is the janitor. The blood reminds me of the beginning of Indigo Prophecy Fahrenheit. Has Cat played that? I have not. I have not. I have not. All right. Personal mods. So I'm sorry. What the fuck you giving me? Okay. So this is 47.35. We can delete this. Um... Try to delete doubles, which is why I was getting annoyed that they might introduce more. 55, zero, which is fucking weird, and that's why I've kept it. Okay. Oh. Uh, nine. 17? I think 17's good. It's fine. Uh. Uh, I think everything else is stuff I already have. Okay. It's just 12. I'm not going to mess with that till I have to. Although, wait, wait, go back. Assets. Yeah, what is this? Confiscated motive. I don't know what that means. Shaded facet. Huh. All right. And I got 18 tokens. I have so many tokens if I feel like going back to expeditions. It's a hard nope. That right. doesn't look like a house shift. Do I even want to know? Okay, guys. Let it be known. I did not do this. I wish my power was that strong. They'd make playthroughs very interesting. What happens if I cleanse this? Oh, I totally missed that. Okay. Nothing, but now I saved, so that's what matters. What's this? Give me this. To clarify, or for clarity, cat, I was yelling because you blew into the mic and it hurt my ear balls. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really don't like the pack now. Oh, no. That's not how gravity is supposed to work. Welcome back, Dalton. We'll still buy for collection's sake, but Sims 3 Katy Perry's stuff pack, aka not necessary at all. Ugh. Bye, though. Indigo Prophecy, great game. What did cat do? I apparently blew into the mic and made a really loud noise. I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, that's still tripping my mind up. I'm gonna save again. Wait, 
What? Astral constructs. Oh, new gun. I need two more confiscated motives. What's a construct surge? What is that going to be? Surge fires adhesive ammunitions that de detonate when manually triggered. Probably never going to use it, but I'll still buy it. Or I'll still uh, make it because 100%. All right. Filing and processing. Well, this are here. I saw another one. There you are. Be my friend. Ow! Sir? I said be my friend. I saw another one. There he is. Excuse me, sir? That wall was in my way. Whoa, there's a lot. I'm gonna do you through the wall. Alright. Sounds weird. Oh, well, he killed him. I got another thing, though. You're my friend. Okay. Oh, hi! Of that works. The hiss are already in here. Okay! I'm alive now. Ow. Fucking blind. There's something on the other side of this wall. Wait. I recognize that. Ability point received for hidden location. Hell yeah. I recognize that painting in my hidden room. All right. I'll fucking take it. Give me things. Launch efficiency and shade of facet. Hell yeah. Phrasing? You're welcome. Pity mode. Well, don't like this, no sir. Cat, what did you do? I did nothing. Oh, that was to the reference thing. Uh, there should be werewolves. Like, come on, we have hot aliens and we need hot air werewolves. Time to mines. Nice. Love exploding. Yeah. Secrets. Wait, Cat, did you have to. Wait, what? What I say to having to get the phrasing? I don't know. Ask Dalton. I have no fucking clue. Okay. Yeah, if you ever see that painting, it usually means a hidden room that you can explode. -y. Hartman arrest. Cat smash. I'm gonna do you through the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kingdom, for that clip. Official arrest report. Case 74 WA 4. Offender names, Hartman Emil. Uh, victim names, A Wake Allen, Anderson Tor, Anderson Odin, uh, Lane Rudolph, DeSole Wendy, Emerson Thomas, redacted. So there are two redacted names. Officer names, Dennis Special Agent Remy. Charges, Code 4, kidnapping of altered individuals, one count. Code 8, sanctions against altered organizations, one count. Code 37, obstruction of bureau investigation, one count. Code 74, breaching the Ash Act, six counts. Additional notes, offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with the ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each except the Anderson brothers due to their senil senility senility and alan possibly deceased we have no idea what happened to alan wake wait wait what's the missions weird okay uh emil hartman was the psychiatrist alice set alan up with in bright falls oh interesting do you through the wall is no why do I feel like it's hinting at Death Stranding? That'd be great, but no, I don't think so. Unless, like, Kojima worked with them and was like, hey, can you put this Easter egg in? I want to put that stuff. All right. Whoa. I think I'm 
Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. A little bit. Um, anything else? Doesn't look like any other papers to read. This was closed off. Oh, there's something to read. Service tunnel. I could go probably either way. Foot gossip. What? Hello. My feet gossip at night. And now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Service tunnel doesn't look healthy. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. The shadows, I assume, are from Alan Wake, because it's basically what we had to do. Huh. Aim powerful light at shadows, is what it said. Oh my god, it's exactly like Alan Wake. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. That's cool. I'm dying here. <laughs> it's just dumb AF. <laughs> no joke. Yeah. And it's not a joke. It's just stupid. <laughs> Their feet gossip at night, so they have to wear shoes to shut them up. And it's just really stupid. <laughs> Note to self. Leave self notes for others to find. <laughs> Letter used confusion is super effective. Night guys off to bed. Take Zer care take Zerathia. Take care of Zathia. Have a lovely evening. Have fun exploring the creepy hotel. I'll do my best. Have a lovely evening. Oh, that was a really cool animal ache reference. I feel like I'm supposed to go that way though, so hold up. I guess extra strong lights in case I destroyed the first one? Or Nope. That's it. That's all it was for. All right. Well, good to know that room's there for that. I'm going to go where the this was cuz I don't know which way this was going. <laughs> oh, maybe it's just for hidden stuff. I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so I'm not actually supposed to go this way. I'm supposed to go the way that I just did. That's cute that we have to deal with Alan Wake's shadow stuff. I do remember, that's how combat was. You had to shine your flashlight at beings of darkness, and it made them vulnerable if you shone, it, shone the light for long enough, and then you could shoot them. So. It's very interesting. Oh. So I'm guessing that's what they tried to contain and fucking failed. Interesting. Huh. Oh, mold. Well, I can go in there. Or not, excuse me. Okay. Glad I did the mold shit already. Shield kills, reload efficiency. Cool. All right. Boop. 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 Is there any more? remember if they come back if I don't shoot them all in time.
Did I do it? I did it. I think. Usually that's for a reason, though. Didn't do anything. Did I miss one? So fun fact, you literally can't go down here unless you do a really hard boss. Optional boss. Otherwise you can never go into like super infested mold areas. That boss fight sucked. All right, well, I think that's all that was in here. It was just that box. All right, bye. Okay. Cat has been known to destroy first, ask questions later, and control. It's true. The game had a backup in case you catted it up. <laughs> yeah, he's a little very dead from the shadows. I gotta pee. So, before we do this, I'm gonna pause. And I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom, get more water, and we'll play for another hour. BRB. Uh, there we go. Uh, game sponsored by Energizer? Oh my god. Excuse me. Ati, do your job. Clean up proper. Well, Ati couldn't get down here. I think he got stuck at the flash or at the fire break. Alright. How can you clean up when all the documents are redacted? Because he's a god. It's fine. Alright, I'll be right back. Have hugs. <sighs> Gonna grab some more to eat. The noodles didn't fill me up enough. Legit. Go get your knobs. All right. Just like I got mine. Yeah. All the phrasing today, cat. You're welcome. ready for more uh, I don't think the game is oh okay okay he seems fine Orange peel, what? Oh, okay. Well, we have another point. I'll take it. How big is this getting? Three ability points. We need three more. Uh, three. No, we need four. Five more. We needed six. More. Back with red grapes. Mm. <gasps> Guys, we're not that far. Oh no. It was a lot of reading though, so. Game's like you came back too soon. I wasn't ready. Basically. All right. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of ways to go. Okay, so this is the way to the fire break. That was closed off. So we just made our way around. Cool beans. You okay there? Okay. Do I need you? I feel like I'll need it. You're coming with me. Hmm. 
It's making noise. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Crash out of darkness towards me? What'd I do to you? Oh, hey. I hope it stays melted off. Is there anything else? While I have this light with me? A lot of reading material. A lot of reading material. Are these? Ati. I have more Ati missions? Ah, fuck me. I have more Ati missions? Why? I already got the Janner of it. Never wear it. Okay, I think that's all I needed that for. It's here in case I want it. Hartman, don't crash towards Faden. Yeah. Oh god, it's so dark without. Okay, so I'm gonna need a power source from somewhere. All right. I can go this way. Oh, another thing that needs a power source. So I can't open up this. I can. Okay, never mind. I love worms. The Eagle Limit, AWE 44. Event summary. The train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Redacted. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remained... Uh, I think I know what they're talking about. Something I already did. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Event response. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered suggested that ev an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. Uh, as a result, response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the incident accident site revealed a curious, curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. The individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. So maybe not. Cat, I don't need to like yeet also cat. Oh god, it's so dark. I didn't realize it was so dark. Auntie Wake. Oh my god. Spoilers, Alan. Uh my word. I have more auntie missions. Kotana, thank you for that clip. I'm going to bed. Take care, Demonas. Get some good rest. Take care of yourself. All the love. All right. Oh, hotline. Pressed it. The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. The third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden.
good at telling. Huh. Have fun with the game, I will. All right. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry, against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Waite, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Waite now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving <clears throat> quite the challenge. Well, yeah. perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Okay. The shadow. Wait, giving us props. Examination of paranatural entities, the shadow. Summary, paranatural entity A10, aka the shadow is an aggressive redacted consisting of three known types. Type A, localized manifestations of sentient redacted, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting redacted over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, human bodies redacted by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive but do seem to retain redacted of their previous cells. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects, similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are redacted solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE 35, which may imply a shared link to a redacted intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of an redacted. Refer to file 634-1923 for full report. I'm assuming to prepare for the eventuality of a blackout? F. It looks like you did good. Sarcasm. And then I just want this to not say new. Because we listen to it. Oh, uh, wherever the fuck it is. Oh, unless it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. I can't do that yet because I don't have power. Oh, there's a dingy in there. No. That thingy does something. Light! Oh god, the hiss. Okay, well, they can wait for a hot second. I was gonna say, are they gone now? Okay, well, no, the grenades say otherwise. Oh, you're faster. I can't get through! There we go. Here, just be my friend. I like friends. Fuck off. Okay. Be my friend. I like friends. Ow! I'm almost dead, you fuck. No. I 
saw you. Okay. That's not it. There's gotta be one more. There he is! He's dead now. Okay. Everything's fine. <sighs> Anxious, but it's fine. Do I only get one? Or can I get two power sources? Because if I could get two, that'd be great. Okay, I don't care. Enough. Get out of my way. Oh, he died. Friend died. Alright. Bathroom. Oh, what's that? Reminder. All employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control Who is stuck in here? that time is not subjective and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral rude. drives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Also rude. Honestly, it really sounds like the FPC shit to work for. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, okay. Not worth it. Quite honestly. Well, there's some things around. Ooh, another thingy. Yay, I can now build it. What's that? NASA? That's a messy bathroom. Interagency corporation decision. Uh, response to NASA. Uh, summary. Following the NASA FBC uh, coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathering during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the Redacted far outweighs any spending related to the processing or delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit, the Redacted will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled source for remotely monitoring and photographing AWS sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is a vital, of vital importance. Refer to file 381-4812 for full report. Federal Bureau of Control is sounding more and more like YouTube. Fair. Uh, I thought I got it. Is there another one? Oh, that was the reminder. Ah. another Polaris. Oh, another bathroom. Okay. Ah. Another mod. What is this? So many readings. Black market. There we go. Official findings report. Illegally alt illegal altered item market. Summary. Oh, excuse me. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well genuine as well genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided and redacted, Czech Republic, by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by sus suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but they, that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. B. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. And C, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. Refer to file 
O two twenty one for full report. Well, F. We'll deal with Ati in a moment. All right. What else is around? I think I went over here. Is it the messy one? Yeah. Okay. I did. Anything uh, over here? Okay. What's this? It's like having multiple Pandora's boxes. Basically. Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? What? <laughs> what? Want to know? What? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard of in my life. And I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they just know they know just as much as us, if not more. And they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make the train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can hit, I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop until we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that shows, see if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. I wonder if I'm supposed to know who that is. Am I missing one? Oh, his ranger airborne. I thought that was a new thing. Field research on his entity, his corrupted ranger airborne. Confidential summary. This subgroup of his corrupted rangers has manifested the ability to le levitate, similarly to his elevated agents. However, these airborne his rangers display no telekinetic uh, abilities and simply continue to use mundane bureau weaponry. This evolution being so similar to the elevated possibly indicates that his can share premutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. However, the fact that this development in his rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that the environmental factor is responsible. They could be respons responding to an altered item or another other paranatural element found only in that sector. Or perhaps this is the natural progression of the his ranger phenotype. Not enough time has passed to determine a conclusive trajectory of development for each of the Hiss manifestations, assuming any such trajectory exists. Refer to file redacted for full report. I would say he gives no Fs, but he put a lot on that page. <laughs> I think he cares a lot. All right. Making sure I'm not missing any other... F what is that? Agent Fisher. Day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Trip wire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is that was quite a rant. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how. Exactly. I, uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell going ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've, I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. This time, or I swear to God, I'll... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... A 
it's still playing. Um. Um. Do I walk away now? It's not stopping. <clears throat> I guess I'll just let it keep going. Okay. Oh. Flight paths? Huh. Okay, Ati. I have a feeling that's copyright, but you know, it's Ati. Another fine mess. Have died standing up. Nurse the plants. Light them okay. up. The air in here is getting bad. The vents they are full of clear them all. Old shit. It's not Ati? for you. Okay. Okay, saying a lot in a different language. Darkness everywhere. Today, same old bloody city, said the old way. Like dark but good for nothing. Get rid of it. Uh, oh well, one room has been cleared already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did that count as clear the mold? Or did it automatically like do one of them? Cause I did it. Huh? I don't know. Oop. Trench and who's that? I think that's trench on the right. I don't know who's on the left. Also, I think that lighthouse is. But not being able to get rid of didn't hear proper. It's finished naturally, of course. I'm gonna see if any of these doors or these walls break open. I don't think so though. Damn it. These just look like suspicious paintings. Alright, we're gonna try. Wait! Let's build a thing! Wait. Oh, I can't. Okay, so in order to upgrade it, I need more motives and shade to pass it. So basically the new stuff. All right, fair. And I can't do anything with this. All right, well, let's see. Oops, let's see what it's like. It counted the room you did earlier? Yes, I did it. Firebender Jared, thank you so much for that follow. All right, uh, let's see what the new weapon's like. Also, let's give it a thing. I don't know what. Ammo recovery upon taking explosive damage. Damage after kills. <laughs> we could do that. None of these are specific to surge. Uh, let's do this one. Why not? What does it do? Oh. How do I? Okay. I don't know how much I'll use it, but like, fuck it. All right. That's not good. Something in this darkness is draining me. That's not good. Can I not? I can still do moves in the area. Okay. 
Keep clear. Well, I can definitely... Okay, so I need some power sources. Oh, it's using my energy. Okay. play with you in D&D. &D. Uh, I'm not the DM, so I have no control over that whatsoever. But uh, to my knowledge, Isaac is only uh, bringing in friends he knows. Uh, to my knowledge. Yeah, I play Kira. Yeah, it's, it's with friends and acquaintances, right? Well, I think everyone knows everyone. Like, Isaac and Dilly are husbands. And then Ritz is from Robot College, where me and uh, Isaac and Dilly were in. And Galm is Ritz's really good friend. So, and Messi was a part of Robot College. It was originally all Robot College peeps until uh, recently with Galm. It's so private that I, her boyfriend, can't get in. Uh, so there's that. Uh, official findings report. Response, Dr. Emil Hartman. Summary, Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in Redacted, Washington, focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent Redacted abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping Redacted to his own benefit which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to react, redacted reality through artistic medium, see file redacted. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the redacted investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released months, redacted months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. Excuse me. Refer to, re refer to file 712-8558-57 for full report. Uh... <laughs> oh, I will I will see. Uh I, uh yeah, we don't t tend to talk about I mean unless it's a compliment, but uh that that I'm guessing you just heard my voice. I don't know if that's saying my voice is uh unattractive. I don't know. <laughs> but it implies something that I don't think you meant to imply, but it did. <laughs> so, mods are just doing their job purging things. Uh Oh. What? Oh, shit. Uh, no! Wrong button. What was the recording? Stop it. Stop draining me. Will it kill me? Uh-oh. I'm almost full on personal mods. Uh... Um, well, this sucks. Okay, wait. So, I have launch energy cost 20... Oh, it's the same. So, delete. That is, or this. These are new. Shield kills reload efficiency. Weapon reload on shield ability kills. Well, I never shield ability. Incoming damage after seizing enemy. E. This is new. C speed 70. I think I have one that's a 100%. Yeah. So I'll delete that one. 23% uh, for melee kills. I don't think I have. Me oh my god. Do I not have melee kills? This I only have three there open areas. You there you are. Hi. Hello! Was it Dilly? Was it Isaac? What were you playing? Hello and welcome. Speaking of our DM and our players. Hello. It's Dilly! Were you playing more Tomb Raider? Is that what you were up to? I'm still just making sure I'm not missing. Okay, no, no. F. This is fine. I just have way too many things. 
It's fine. Alright. Hey, speak of the devil monster and they shall oh never mind, it's Dilly. You thought it was Isaac? Fair. Okay. Oh, that was the motel observation, dude. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, get out of here. Ah! I'm out. Okay. I'm gonna run and get food. Don't want to have control spoiled. That's fair. Yeah, this is DLC, so I totally understand that. Dilly, thank you so much for the raid. Guys, please go follow and watch Dilly if you're not already. Dilly and Isaac. Isaac is our lovely DM, but Dilly was the one who raided and is playing through all of the old Tomb Raiders, currently on Tomb Raider Chronicles, so please go check them out. They're super sweet beans. Also, they're Super hilarious. Hey. And I have a raid response for everyone that just came in from this raid. Hello and welcome. My name is Cat for the Wind, and uh, this is what I'm about. Hello, welcome. My name is Cat for the Wind. She my flute. Just call me Grandma. Uh, <laughs> I really like to collect Koroks. That's a problem. <gasps> what did I do? Where's the webcam? And she stuck on a horse! I don't think that was supposed to happen. That hair's going <laughs> Are you okay, miss? <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't think this was supposed to happen. This is actually my first time ever playing Breath of the Wild. <gasps> she misses. I can take a picture of you. Oh! I, myself, am Pan. I have a husband and a trans girlfriend. And then my mom is lesbian and my dad is gay and my grandmas are lesbian and I'm just surrounded. Oh, that is not a, that is not a dog. Bam, what have you done? Is it Pancho Kazooie? Ah! Well, you fuckers. Let me smash versus what? let me smash. <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. Hey, so that's me in case you were wondering. Also, I have a husband, a girlfriend, and a boyfriend. Boyfriend's been to there in chat. Guess my delay, my bad. Oh, your delay is bad? That might be from me dropping frames earlier. So you might need to refresh just to like make sure you're up. That banjo clip never gets old. I'm glad you enjoy it. Forced refresh took me from the banjo to the very end. F? But yes. So, uh, I am playing Control. Uh, this is the DLC AWE, which is all Alan Wake related. So if you know Alan Wake, this will definitely uh, be relating to that. If you don't know Control, this will be Control spoilers-ish. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is this takes place after you beat the game. I have cat ears because of Easter egg stuff I did in the last DLC. So she doesn't usually have cat ears. But hi guys, if you have questions, we can try and answer them. Oh, yes. Alan is woke. Alan Wake explained. Alan Wake experience. Alan Wake everywhere. <laughs> That's what AWE. No. Altered. We figured it out earlier. I don't remember now. But now I'm in like a super dark area that I don't know. If I can deal with. Oh, there's another thing. It's a lot of reading. Vending machine procedures. Oh my god, is it the same vending machine that I just had to do earlier? Vending machine, AI81KE, containment procedure, none known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Description, altered effect. A vending machine, its front covered in a faux wood panel. Coin operated, buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows for of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create living a living redacted have consistently failed. Background. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Redacted, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Redacted called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise residents' spirits. The bureau response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. That's amazing. All right, what's that? Oh, well. I can't see shit! I hate it. Okay, well I've seen several things that I can give power to, but I don't have power cells, so can I not go in this? 
Oh, I thought it wouldn't work without the fire. Okay, well, here we are. Oh, I don't Shit. like that. Now what? What the fuck is that? What the fuck what is that? Is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't like this. Hey, buddy. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't, I don't like that. Nope. I paused. Hold up. Vending machine can give you all the Dr. Pepper I want. It's true. Hello, Hartman. Oh, you think that's Hartman? Ooh, Muriel, so used to center turn nursing home. I was thinking that too. User gets a hose because Chet is thirsty again. Can't stop being biased against talls because he's tall. No, it was like the, the fact he's tall, but also the fact that he has like antlers and shit and moves really creepily. Altered Baby winky Baby. events. Baby. Yeah, orange. Okay, that is Hartman. Wow. What the fuck happened to Hartman? Okay, so I think I'm supposed to bring the energy core with me and light up different areas. I think I only get one, which is really sad and disheartening. <gasps> Wait, no, there's more. Give me these. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can do this. Hey, bitch. I can do this. There was more. Where's the other one? Uh huh. <gasps> he's terrifying. <sighs> he's big. I'm sorry, what? Even <laughs> Look at that booty now! Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Cat, you're welcome. This is a cool bustle boss, it is. I kinda like it. Don't you get me? I think there's one more area. Oh, nope. I don't like how he can teleport. It really kind of creeps me out. I don't like the way he moves at all. No, get fucked. I don't like him. So what's challenge mode here? Do it without flying so you have to carry the power things? No. I think I'll die if he hits me. Like, I think he's pretty fucking powerful in the darkness. Is there another one? I feel like there should be another one. Oh, wait, maybe not. There we go. Get fucked! Yeah, how do you like that? Get fucked! So he went through there. Huh. I don't like that. Hartman's creepy. How do I get this? What the fuck? Oh. There we go. 
door appearance. Uh, actually, like people who are taller than me, I obviously do. Fender and uh, River. River's a lot taller than me too. And Shy Guy is taller than me. He's just not super tall than, than me. Then again, it's not hard to be taller than me. Uh, feeling very judged here. You know I love you, Fender. Uh, I haven't had complaints about my height, but appreciate it for sure. Evil tall. No, he's just an evil tall. Ocean. Uh, ocean. Ocean View Motel Observation Report. Details. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral-shaped marking designation door redacted. Simple, similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details, and former wife of the missing author Alan Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian and redacted, contracted, contact, contacted agents... Uh, Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Miss Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview full for full transcript refer to file redacted on redacted 2017. The excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later the same day. Conclusion. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35, is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. I'm 100% convinced that Fender just might have antlers. Oh my god. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I did? <laughs> Tell me about Hanneman? the movie disaster. The movie? I don't, I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. I don't know, Kat, you just freaked out over a tall guy with antlers who was hanging out and walking around. That mostly describes me. Oh, my God. Not night, like nighttime, but you don't have who contacted antlers, you? Right? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given this a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I look smart, I'll get listeners. I feel my like you know his voice. Off, and I can live out my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> Fender's Loki confirmed. Uh, crests? I mean, I understood. Am I supposed to follow him? Can I? I can't. Ow. All right. <sighs> so I did that. Big room. Okay. Just kind of moving things around, making sure I'm not missing stuff. Like, what's up there? Okay, this room is really intimidating and all. Langston. But I know my rights. It's not a crime to try and get a book signed. Making unauthorized contact with a dangerous paranatural entity is indeed a bureau offense, Mr. Langston, and can be prosecuted as such. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Listen, this would seem to have way out of proportion. All he tried to get I heard his Dr. book signed from Alan Wake. Brought in, and since I'm a huge Alan Wake fan, I thought it'd be cool to get a copy of the Creator's oh. Dilemma signed. Uh, that's a book that Hartman wrote about. We know what it is. Never mind then. Okay. Uh, good. So yeah, I was just looking to fill out my weight collection. I certainly didn't know Hartman had turned into some kind of shadow zombie. That's a completely inaccurate description. Whatever. Listen, I'm just a desk jockey. I sort papers, do data entry, that kind of stuff. Don't. Except you don't now. Like this. I made one mistake. Interesting. I wonder why you got promoted then. Rules all the time, and no one is pulling them into dark rooms to yell at them. 
Yesterday, Dave Gleason and his crew were talking to that empty spacesuit and laughing their heads off. We're letting you off with a warning, Mr. Empty Madison. space. But this is going on your record, so one more screw up Didn't and I the pass one? won't be so friendly. Great. That is just great to hear, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Did I pass so a spacesuit? I'm pretty sure I did. Hey, is there That's hilarious. To get my copy of the creator's dilemma back? Get out. This time I didn't even say I was. Cat wishes I was Loki. Hi, Galaxy. Hello, hello. Tom Hiddleston. Have you seen that pretty mouth, <laughs> motherfucker? Uh, I'm sorry. I also find you gorgeous, Fender. It's fine. Uh, why are you lying, Fender? You're not ugly. I know. That's what I was saying. Coffee talk? Why was... Why was Keto wearing a space suit? Were they talking to Keto? God damn it. Uh, all right, power cores. We found them, luckily. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else there. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Uh, ooh. I'll take that. So many beautiful peeps and coffee talk. Well, that's true, too. Alright. Well, Creepy Hartman's probably a good place to stop, but I want to, like, clear out this room of all info. Nice spring screenplay. Yo. No, the screenplay was found after the Bureau... Uh, acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Night Springs spec script episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. Host, voice actor, it is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? Uh, secret lab uh, night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist, I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready, Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. Scientist. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Oh my god, are we going to be able to find multiple of these? Langston interrogation. So good. For those that don't know, Langston is uh, a character in this game. <laughs> I love that he got interrogated. It's just really fucking funny. Uh, he clearly doesn't want to do his job. Like, he just... I don't know. I don't know how much he really cares about his job. But he is in charge of the containment area. Okay, machines. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoom. Shoom. New mission? Shoom. Oh, fuck Shoom. me. Shoom. Whatever. I fear. Uh, I won't yet, but we can do that tomorrow. Play shroom. I will shrooms. I I fear it's gonna take a bit if it's anything like that fucking boss fight that I had to do on the train track. So we're gonna we're gonna start with that tomorrow. All right. Uh, that's it. Well, if the cat ears can't get over it, I love it. I love that they gave me this option. I'll never take them off. Okay. This is fine. I think mostly because I grabbed a lot of files before I did this. So. Okay. Let's see if there's a, a save down here. Let's see what happens. Stretch two, please. I forgot to remind you. I stretched during the three what are you hour doing mark. In investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that, Langston. Hi, Langston. You're talking right now. I can't hear you. It's a one way system. Try to find an intercom. <laughs> Bright Falls AWE. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You've seen there was no boss fight on the train tracks. Guy. 
Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, I didn't ah. say that. Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go Familiar flush Familiar hmm. methodologies. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever Are since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the item. Doesn't Still, want to brag. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. Christmas I lights idea sounds day, bright. We're still just wild animals. Like, it's a dork and I love him. Yeah, same. We're supposed I love all the characters, team, honestly. But sometimes Pope, Langston, like Underhill, even. Like it's Darling. A race and we're all Marshall! That's if the it is Marshall. a race, though, I'd say Darling Arish. is a love Arish. ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, Hope's but that my relationship wife. has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just... Well, Trench you know, is dead, so this is awkward. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused. Well, not all of them. You don't love Hartman? No. To feed Alfred. The ones I have to fight, so like Trench, Hartman, man. So I have my neighbor check in on How long will he talk? If I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s. <laughs> she had a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm going to have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. How long will he go for? To pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for <laughs> Forever, you live here now listening to him talk for all eternity. It feels like it. Okay. Oh, one more thing. And buy <laughs> a fruit. Hi, Luna. A ring. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper. Really carries himself well, you know? Wait, Alfred's a cat? Poet. Felt like a good I fit. forgot if he I mentioned it before. Just before Sylvia died, when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. Alfred is a kitty! Oh, boy, those two did not... Jesse and Pope's on. ship will oh, sail, oh, yes. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Like she does seem like a good listener, it's true. More than once when I was just trying to move her food I'm bowl. doing good, Luna. How are you that doing? That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that was <laughs> not entirely, um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't talk How long can I listen to Langston? Or animals. Or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about He's coming out of the elevator, because if I walk away... You know, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Oh, Let's there we go. It was Langston. <laughs> that was amazing. That was pretty good. That was pretty fucking good. Okay, so I'm guessing 
Well, the mold's in those two rooms, it's telling me. But like, these places are huge. The only one that's not huge is this one. And I feel like I can't go into Bright Falls yet. I feel like that's definitely a no-no right now. I can't even fucking see. Okay. Well, F. Well, we're not going in. Okay. So I just, in the next save I find, uh, I'll end it there because I'm going to be live again in two and a half hours on Kita's channel. So, surprise nap was a surprise. Well, Prince, I hope, I hope you got good sleeps. You clearly deserve it and uh, clearly needed it. I totally get that. Okay, do I just go down another fucking elevator? <sighs> Which you guys should totally be following and watching Kita if you're not already. Are you a cat person? Uh, based off the ears? No, not at all. He can't see that though. Uh, and when the mood hits right when I'm sleepy, yeah. I totally get surprise naps. I hope it was a good one. Okay, save. All right. Boop. We got four more abilities we need. So, if we get four more, I can do this final thing and Jesse is 100%ed. So, Astro Constructs, can I? Nope, still need confiscated motive. I just need to fight more bitches. All right. Hey, Langston is me when I get talky when I'm sleepy AF and the mood hits just right. Oh, that's what you're saying. No, I loved it. It was hysterical. I loved it. Uh, meds knocked me out. Oh, you poor bean. All the love. Meds. Ugh. Hooray. But yes, I am live again in two and a half hours, but I'll be on Kita's channel, not mine. So... That's why I'm ending a little early today. Tomorrow we'll continue here for where we left off. Um, if I remember, I'll go play that video game. If you guys remind me to play Shoom, or I can play it afterward. Um, but, because it might be an extra boss fight. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. So, we shall see all the hugs. All of them. But yes, that was amazing to listen to. I loved it. This was a great stream. I fucking love Control. I love the humor they do. And also the, the Kojima shit was pretty great. And I just, I'm here for it. I loved everything that Control does. I just do. So. Hey. But I will see you guys tonight for Fire Emblem Three Houses on Kita's channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time. Where we'll be leaving off. We'll be playing where we left off today. Excuse me? Burpee? Uh, and then Saturday is D&D &D at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's evening. Uh, usually we're at noon, but Saturday is special because of the fact that we're doing D&D. &D with our lovely DM, Isaac. And we'll be playing with Ritz, Galm, and Dilly. On top of that, fighting a crazy fucking, what do you call it? Uh, we'll be fighting some of those fun, um, hags. A coven of hags. I'm not excited, but it's a thing we're gonna do. So, let's look for someone to raid. Hey. I don't know what Jeff Brutlag's gonna be playing, but let's go raid Joof. Joof? I know he's also nicknamed Joof. That wasn't even intentional, though. Jeff Brutlag! Who, uh, he just has it titled First Playthrough Spoopy Corporate Realness. Which sounds like the Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to be playing. But he's fantastic. Uh, super wholesome dude. He currently has a Sailor Moon wand staff on a stream right now. <laughs> Joof Brutlag. He is fantastic. There, yeah, it's a hag coven. I'm not excited. But let's go raid Jeff. He's fantastical. He is a part of the LGBTQIA community, and he's a super loving dude. He's been on front page before. He's just awesome and uh, raises good money for good things, too. So if you guys need something to say, copy and paste that to one, make sure it works, but two, to let us know you're coming with. I will do the same, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some control or tonight for Kitas if you guys are awake. So...
Have you tried asking the hags instead of attacking them? Just saying? That's what Shy Guys uh, basically said I should do. The problem is Lindsay, Dilly's character, already fucking attacked. So I don't know how this is going to go. <sighs> but I'll see you guys over in Jeff's stream. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tonight or tomorrow. But have a lovely night, everyone. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.